This video is sponsored by graphicstock.com. So I was given a sweet deal to give to you guys and the deal is 50% off a full membership subscription and the subscriptions are normally $99 which is basically a hundred pounds or a hundred dollars and you get 50% off so what do you get with this discount well you kind of get over 300,000 images you know it's just cash $49 and you get 300,000 images and vectors and you know a bunch of other stuff you know that is pretty epic so let's say you had a logo or an illustration and you needed a background and you want a deadline the client needs the logo tomorrow what do you do you head over to graphic stock you get a background and you put it behind your illustration there you're done and you're ready to send it to him so you know that's kind of one way to use graphic stock so make sure to check the description below for the 50 percent coupon or discount link and once you finish signing up make sure to head over to my video and continue watching my tutorial Hey, you're watching Swerve on YouTube and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a drawing or sketch where well, hand lettering and I'm going to show you how to um, do the process I do behind the scenes before I take it into Illustrator and make it awesome. So what I'm going to do is start off with the letter T. So I'm just going to make an outstroke or an outline and I'm going to start off with the T. So I like to make my lettering squared off and I like to use different styles for it so what I'm going to do is start off with this go down as you can see I've already made the 3D shape for the T and I made a little mistake hold on all right there we go yeah so I like to make my text rough before I take it into Illustrator nothing too fancy um, if I make it a bit too fancy, that is not the aim, but you know. Alright, let's see what we can do. Um, you know what? Let's just keep it nice and simple. Alright, and uh, I don't really like that. Alright, I'm going to take it back <laughs> to the beginning and see. Where I, can, where I went wrong um, alright let's just go up like this I'm gonna try and make this bit the same as that seems a bit difficult um, oh got it there we go and what I'm gonna do is round off here like that and change this bit to go like that and I'm gonna rub out this area and that area as well. And I'm going to resolve the issue. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Alright. So I'm going to zoom in a bit just so you can see more of what I'm doing. Alright. Um, so let's try to get rid of this area. So this is going to be like um, she. Yeah, that's pretty good. Damn, damn, damn. All right, so I'm going to start the H from here. And, you know, keep it nice and chill. Oops, zoom in a bit. Um, Let's see. I want to make the bottom bit a bit square. So what I'm going to do is just go down, square it off. Whoops make a little curve like that that's looking good that's looking really good so I'm gonna get the H I like to make it thin at the beginning and then go down like that square off this bit and go down like that so it gives it a nice touch a nice feel and let's see yeah that's looking pretty good all right, um, I may redo the T on this side. It's looking a bit thick. So I'm just gonna taper it, make it a bit smaller. 
and as I said it doesn't have to be too clean it just needs to be nice and you know. alright um, yeah that's looking pretty good so this is kind of the process that I go through behind the scenes but um, when I do it or when I used to do it I used to use paper and pencil or paper and pen or whatever hell and I used to draw like this and then what you would see is me taking it into illustrator and you know just vectorizing it or illustrating um the eye was pretty simple uh don't really have a name for this style of art or this style of lettering but <clears throat> if i did i would probably call it um yep don't really know but um, if I do make it a font, I'll probably tell you. So we've got the T, the H, the I. All we've got to do next is the S, which is the hardest thing I've ever had to do. But um, I'll get through it. Let's see. Never been able to draw S's. Big problem. All right, that's close enough, close enough. So I like to make it nice and square at the top square and thick actually square and thick so i'm gonna hide it behind this area gonna make it thin here like that and then when you get to the bottom what you want to do is square it off again might need to curve off that square a bit all right so what i'm gonna do yeah actually you know what we can make this a bit longer so i'm gonna make it around here like that and you can just squivel it in and then perfect it later on so what i've gone and done is made it so i can get rid of the outline easy but it also looks nice. Um, I'm not too sure about the S. It looks a bit out of place, but you know, um, you just need to tr like retry and keep on retrying and see how it turns out. But so far it's looking pretty good. And this is what I have so far. Um, I should have another video showing you the how to um, vectorize this, but. Um, for now this is the end of the video i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like subscribe and comment and i'll see you in another video oh, oh, oh.